Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and people today we are going to talk about uh, media queries uh, an advanced concept in HTML and CSS. What is media queries? Now wouldn't it be great if uh, your CSS could identify uh, the device uh, something like the um, the width and height of the device or the minimum width or the minimum height of the device of the browser the resolution of the device also could check if the you know the orientation was a landscape or portrait uh, maybe if the CSS could determine if uh, the uh, the device on which the web page was to be shown was a, a colored device or uh, what maybe a monochrome device uh, if there was a way of, of determining the aspect ratio the minimum aspect ratio the um, you see there are so many ways in which uh, maybe if what if uh, you know uh, before we apply the CSS we could determine if the uh, you know the device on which the web page is to be shown is a handheld device is a TV or is a uh, print media all right so there are several ways in which uh, through CSS we c can determine that and accordingly apply the CSS by which I mean uh, you, you see the most common way of uh, applying media queries is to determine the uh, min width and the max width of the device on which it is going to be shown and accordingly apply a different set of CSS depending on uh, which range of uh, width and height your uh, device fits in. All right, that's exactly uh, what is meant by media query. In fact, uh, let me straight away uh, show you a multi-screen preview. Now, this web page where the uh, CSS and HTML is very simple. Let me straight away hit this uh, multi-screen preview button and let's take up a multi-screen preview okay now <coughs> excuse me I'm using a monitor uh, a Samsung HD monitor which is 1920 uh, by uh, 1280 I think uh, pixels myself all right so this web page will show differently on different uh, devices on the phone with the resolution of 320-300 this is the way it will actually look you can see that the background here is different the color of the font and the size of the font is different here as well uh, on a tablet this is the way it will actually show and on the desktop this is the way it's gonna show up you see the size of the fonts it's an H1 element actually is different in all the three uh, devices this is the desktop uh, size this is the tablet size and this is the phone size in fact let's check the definition out for media queries if I just click this button out here uh, read what it says out it says media queries let's uh, let you target your designs for multiple devices by specifying a different CSS file for each device alright so I'm gonna close this up let me just uh, have a browser preview this time upfront in Google Chrome and uh, okay so this is the way uh, it's actually appearing on my HD uh, monitor all right and let me just shrink it now okay see uh, the that when I actually shrink it you can see the background change I'm gonna show it to you once again. Okay. See the background change at this position. See the this position. That is because of the the way uh, the media query was written here. And I'm gonna go shrink it further. I'm gonna collapse it further, and it changes here again. So that this is for the, the the mobile or the smartphone size. This is for the uh, tablet, and this is for the desktop. All right. 
and all this was made possible through a very simple HTML CSS that I've actually written okay now let's examine the uh, everything that is above the uh, body tags whatever is inside the body tags is the HTML and we have a little bit of uh, CSS out here so we have the doc type declaration out here the opening uh, HTML tag uh, the opening head tag here we have the closing head tag the meta care set uh, here that's the title goes out here and uh, we have the opening style tag with the type attribute out here and obviously we need to have a closing style tag out here okay let's uh, examine the CSS uh, we have a opening a body uh, we have a body tag out here which specifies that the background image should be o3 dot jpg all right and the color should be tomato the font size should be 42 now uh, this is uh, if it's actually a smartphone and why is that that is uh, so because I've clearly mentioned at two places uh, lines 14 and 27 how to apply the CSS if the min width is 480 or 1000 let's read that so here I say if the min width is 480 if the minimum width of the device is actually uh, if you know this of the screen is actually uh, 480 px and this is the way you write it at the rate media screen and min width 480 px if it is so um, I would want the background image to change to o2.jpg which is actually kept in another folder images and instead of the H1 acquiring the color tomato I would want the H1 element to have a color of lemon chiffon the font size should increase from a 42 px and should go up to 60 px uh, min width 480 is uh, you know this bit of CSS applies to the tablet to the tablets now the last bit of CSS out here is for the desktop and obviously whatever is left is given away to the uh, smartphone that is how uh, the media query actually works in my example so let's let's check it out here in line number 27 it's mentioned that the if the screen size has a min width of uh, 1000 px so a good size for a desktop I would want the background image to be o1.jpg the h1 to change its color from 11 chiffon to an orange and the font size to up itself from 60 to a 72 alright so this bit of CSS applies to all screen sizes where the min width is 1000 px this applies uh, this bit of CSS applies to all screen sizes where the min width is 480 so most of the tablets would uh, be targeted out here most of the desktops and lab laptops are going to be targeted out here and what what is left then is the tablet that's going to be targeted out here I've not specified any media uh, query for that you don't need that because that is what is left actually alright so this is the way you're gonna write the uh, CSS and the media queries I've actually uh, made things a little simple I've kept my example very simple and I've written it as an inline star you know uh, an internal CSS file you could uh, take it outside too as an external CSS file that's using the link tag that's absolutely alright maybe I'll cover it up in a different uh, tutorial uh, some other day alright so uh, this is the way your media queries work uh, as I told you earlier they'll determine the orientation the uh, aspect size the screen resolution uh, etc they can determine uh, whether the device is actually a handheld device or if it's a TV 
or if it's print media and accordingly apply a different set of CSS to that device uh, so that's the uh, whole gist of uh, how media queries actually work so people before I uh, terminate the tutorial let me show you a preview up once again this time in I Explorer, Internet Explorer and uh, let me tell you that the uh, media queries uh, work in RE9 and uh, uh, versions over that but for RE8 and uh, versions below that this is a CSS3 uh, property uh, you need something else you need uh, jQuery for uh, the older versions of IE for most modern uh, you know uh, browsers like Chrome and Opera and Safari and their latest versions uh, they are all compatible they all work well they gel well with media query so no problem there but uh, for IE8 and below you need uh, jQuery alright people so I hope uh, I conveyed something out here uh, you will uh, use it to good effect and I'll see you soon you have a good day bye bye peace